In April 2007, Money Sense magazine reported that Canadians are far better savers than our U.S. counterparts. We only spend 120% of our disposable income. In April 2012, Canadians are now spending 152% of their disposable income, up from 120% just five years ago, outspending our neighbors south of the border. The main two reasons? Low interest rates and lines of credit. These are the facts and the reality is that Canadians are getting into debt at an alarming rate. To avoid a financial meltdown that nearly crippled the American economy, the Canadian government introduced new mortgage regulations in July 2012 that restricts mortgages to 25-year amortization periods, and those properties with less than 20% equity will no longer be eligible to get a prime mortgage. A line of credit is a bank's version of a low interest rate credit card with a large credit limit. There are certain pitfalls that consumers should be aware of when considering to purchase their next vehicle using a line of credit. Here are just some of them. Some lines of credit require a minimum principal amount of 3% to be paid monthly along with the interest charges. Most people never read the repayment conditions found on the back of their credit line agreement in fine print and put themselves in harm's way. A $20,000 balance on a credit line with a 3% principal payment obligation will cost a consumer $600 a month plus interest, which is far greater than a regular vehicle loan payment. Many lines of credit also carry usage charges, just like the ATM charges that banks are authorized to charge. These charges can easily outweigh any savings that a credit line's low interest rate will offer. Some lines of credit offer consumers to make interest-only payments on their accounts. The tendency here is to perpetuate the outstanding balance allowing the bank to earn more interest from these accounts because they never get paid down. Because of the unmonitored use of the bank's funds, a line of credit tends to become revolving credit. An account gets paid down and then other future purchases are added to the balance. It's easy to lose sight if and when a vehicle purchased with a line of credit ever gets paid off. A report from a chartered bank revealed that it took consumers on average 13.6 years to have their credit line balance returned to a level it was before they used it to purchase a vehicle. If the conditions of a line of credit are not, are not adhered to, the interest rate in some cases can jump to as much as twice the current rate. A line of credit is a demand note that can be called within 30 days of notice. If a client was having trouble managing their line of credit and the maximum credit limit had been reached, the lending institution can call the note in and will likely offer the client a consolidation loan with a fixed term at a much higher interest rate. If the credit line was secured with a home, the financial institution will likely offer the homeowner a new mortgage and consolidate the outstanding credit line balance with the remaining balance on the mortgage. The consolidated balance is then amortized over a new period, in essence having the homeowner start to pay interest on the original mortgage all over again. This can be nasty business. Lines of credit were initially created for life's opportunities or emergencies. Using the privilege to purchase a vehicle with a line of credit is a poor utilization of credit and may not be in a consumer's best interest. Financial advisors recommend that consumers should leave their line of credit intact for life's opportunities or emergencies and take advantage of dealer plan loans that are available through a dealership's financial services office. These loans are completely open agreements offering both fixed and variable interest rates with most of them set up with a Canadian chartered bank. Interest is only charged on the remaining monthly balance and you can pay into them at any time without any penalties. The interest rates are lower than regular bank rates and you can have your payments come out of your account any day of the month. This can be arranged at a dealership with a financial services manager for your convenience. A dealer plan loan provides consumers with a get out of debt date solution for their next vehicle purchase. Some consumers are attracted to using their line of credit for a vehicle because of the privilege of paying interest only on any given month. This is precisely the trap. Each month that a consumer only pays the interest charge means that it will take them another month to pay off the amount that was used for the vehicle purchase. If you do find yourself short any given month, you can always dip into your line of credit for a small amount to make up the shortfall of your vehicle payment, thus paying off your vehicle purchase in a timely fashion without raking up your credit line on the Never Never plan. Most dealer plan solutions will also allow you to pay bi-weekly, which is far more convenient than the monthly repayment obligation with a line of credit. Most people get paid that way, which allows for easier budgeting. 
Ask the dealership's financial services manager how affordable a dealer plan loan arrangement can be for you.